In this presentation, we are going to see the RMS and average values of some standard signal waveforms. And uh, the first waveform we have is this one. And uh, we know it is the waveform of sine wave. And uh, we already know that the RMS value for sine wave is equal to Vm over root 2, where Vm is the maximum value which the signal can attain. And uh, for this waveform, the average value will be equal to 0 when we consider the full wave and the average value will be equal to 2 times Vm over pi when we consider the half wave. Now moving on to the second signal waveform, we have full wave rectified sine wave and the RMS value of this waveform is equal to Vm over root 2 same as sine wave and the average value will be equal to 2 Vm over pi to Vm over pi. Now moving on to the third signal waveform, we have half wave rectified sine wave and the RMS value in this case is equal to Vm over 2 and the average value it is equal to Vm over pi. And the fourth signal waveform is the square wave and in this waveform the RMS value is equal to Vm equal to the maximum value and the average value is equal to 0 when we consider the full wave and it is equal to Vm when we consider the half wave. Let us now move on to our fifth waveform. We have this wave and for this the RMS value it is equal to Vm over root 2 and the average value it is equal to Vm over 2. The sixth waveform is this one which is the sawtooth wave and for this the RMS value is equal to Vm over root 3 and the average value it is equal to Vm over 2 and the final waveform is this one and it will have the same RMS value as the sawtooth wave and the same average value as the sawtooth wave. So this is all for the RMS and average values of some standard waveforms. You should remember them. And uh, now we will move on to the next point. And uh, in this point, we will understand what will be the average value and the RMS value when we have harmonics present in the signal given to us. Let us say that the signal is Vt and it is equal to V0 plus V1 sine omega t plus v3 sine 3 omega t plus so on. For this signal the average value it will be equal to v0 and the RMS value it will be equal to under root v0 square plus the square of RMS value of this signal which will be v1 over root 2 square. So we will have V1 square over 2 plus the RMS value of the signal which is V3 over root 2 whole square. We will have V3 square over 2 and so on. So this is the formula for the RMS value when we have harmonics present in the signal. Now we will take one question. In this question we need to find out the RMS value of Vt when Vt is equal to V0 plus V1 sin omega t plus phi1 plus V2 sin omega t plus phi2. Now we can have the RMS value using this formula. We have the harmonics in the signal but we will have wrong answer because when you observe carefully you will find we have the same frequency components. Here we have different frequency components and here we have same frequency components. So what we will do is we will combine these two and then we will apply this formula. We can have the phasor representation of this as V1 angle phi1 and the phasor representation of this as V2 angle phi2. 
now you can add the two phasers and you can have the resultant phaser as let's say v angle phi and uh, after this we can write vt equal to v0 plus v sine omega t plus phi and now we are allowed to use this formula we will have the rms voltage equal to under root v0 square plus v over root 2 whole square or I can write v square over 2. So this is the answer of this question.